Hey, what's up guys? Jace Cards here coming at you with a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. And today we're going to be going over my hero deck. Since I got this awesome hero playmat last week, I thought it would be cool to use it in a video or two this week and we'd go over my different hero decks. That being like the standard competitive hero deck that you see in front of you here. And the next one will be up later towards the end of the week, which is my Neos and Neospatian deck, which is all focused on bringing out the different elemental hero Neos fusions. I just love heroes in general and I thought it'd be a great way to use this playmat and also make some videos for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy them and yeah, let's just jump into the deck profile. This video should be pretty short and to the point just because I think we all know how heroes work by now. I've done a few different profiles on my channel with this deck but it changes every so often, you know, hand trap wise and you know, there's some tech choices and stuff like that. But yeah, so starting off with the monsters, we have three copies of Stratos, of course, being like one of the best heroes, the searcher for the deck, especially. There's really not a whole lot to say about Stratos. For our two ups, I'm playing two copies of elemental hero Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist lets you search out Mask Change from your deck, and then if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a hero monster from your deck to your hand, so it just does some more searching. And then for the one of Elemental Heroes, I have one Solid Soldier, one Liquid Soldier, and one Honest Neos. Moving on to our Vision Hero engine, I have three copies of Ferris, two copies of Increase, as well as two copies of Vion. I don't think this ratio has like ever changed. It's been working out perfectly for me. Ferris, of course, being your most important one, you want to play three of Ferris and then two of the other ones is working just fine for me. For the Destiny Hero cards, I have two copies of Malicious. Man, I would love to see this go to three again. We'll have to see as of right now, as of recording this video, the ban list is not out yet for March, but any day now, I think it should be out. Uh, but yeah, two copies of Malicious. And then we do have some one-ofs being Plasma, Celestial, and Dynatag. I know some people are cutting back on the number of Destiny heroes that they're playing. They're sometimes just not really needed. If I was playing like the evil heroes, like um, Dark Calling and then Evil Hero Gold and then the Fusion, I would probably cut these or two of these at least for like a Dark Calling and then the, the Gold Evil Hero. I forget his exact name, but uh, those cards are too expensive right now. I don't have them at all. Uh, so these are just fine budget options. They're Destiny Hero names at least, and they're, you know, they're targets for your other fusions. So I'm just including these uh, other otherwise pretty standard Destiny Heroes, but if you want to cut any of these for something else, you probably could. And for hand traps, Pretty short and sweet here as well with three copies of Ash Blossom. Just an all-around great hand trap. It stops a lot of different things. Moving on to the spell cards, I play three copies of E Emergency Call. It's basically just another way to search. It's like having six copies of Stratos in your deck, which is awesome. Then I play three copies of Fusion Destiny. This is one of my favorite spell cards, especially for this deck. It's just really cool being able to fuse from your hand or deck. I think that's awesome. It's really, really powerful. And then for more fusing abilities, I'm playing three copies of Super Polymerization. Just a great way to be able to use your opponent's monsters for material if it's something annoying that you can't get over. Three copies of Mask Change. And then we have just classic Miracle Fusion and Polymerization. The other one of that I play are the one A Hero Lives, Reinforcement of the Army, and A Foolish Burial. All right, now moving on to the extra deck. You know, there's just so many different hero cards that you could play, so feel free to cut any of these or change this up the way that you want to. You know, you could play some of your favorite heroes that might not be in here. Uh, there's a little bit of leeway. Some of these I feel like you have to play, of course. They're just too strong not to play, but definitely test this out yourself and see what cards you like. And let me know too if you have like any fun techs or any cool fusions or something that you play in here that I might not, or maybe it's something kind of unique. I'd love to read your comments. But anyway, starting off with our masked heroes, we have two copies of Dark Law. 
you know, I got one common and one super, so I'll be getting a super one soon. Uh, I do not like having mixed matched rarities, but you know, it is what it is. This card still gets the job done. Doesn't matter what the rarity is. This card's so powerful. It's my favorite one. And uh, yeah, we got two copies of Dark Law. Then we have the one Acid as well as the one Blast. And for the last Masked Hero card, I have the one Anki. For the Elemental Hero Fusions, I play one Absolute Zero. I also play the one Elemental Hero Sunrise and the one Escarado. Actually, I'm not sure how to say his name. Hopefully that is correct. This card's really nice, especially with your Super Poly, because you can use any dark monster. So you can use your opponent's dark monster, maybe even a Dragoon. Plus I think it just looks awesome. Its effect is just that it gains 100 attack for each elemental hero in your graveyard. So I mean, it can go up quite a bit honestly, but that part doesn't really matter. It's just more so here to be able to use your opponent's monster. And then for the vision heroes, I just play the one Trinity. And for the destiny heroes, we have one Dystopia and one Dangerous. Dangerous is great too because again one of the materials needed is a dark effect monster so you could just use any of your opponent's cards that matches that requirement so another great card for the link monsters two copies of cross crusader man this card needs a rarity bump of some kind I think it's awesome and then I have the one decimator and the one wonder driver now something I wanted to point out too is with the extra deck I tried to keep it all hero based, uh, you know, just because it is a hero deck for a while so why not use as many cool heroes as possible. But if you are playing the super polymerization, some great extra deck monsters that are targets for those would be Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, your Preda Plant, and of course Mud Dragon of the Swamp. These cards are very powerful and can definitely be game-changing, so if you guys want to test these out and just have some other powerful extra deck options, definitely think of maybe adding these in, or you could even side these in. So there you guys have it. That was my updated hero deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! news, deck profiles, and openings, and the video coming out later this week, which is going to be all about Elemental Hero Neos. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Also for fun, feel free to comment down below what your favorite hero is. It could be any type of hero. Let me know what your favorite hero card is. It might even be a spell or trap. It doesn't have to be a monster. I'd love to know. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.